Clancy of the Overflow. I had written him a letter which I had, for want of better knowledge, sent to where I met him down the Lachlan years ago. He was shearing when I knew him, so I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows, Clancy of the Overflow. And an answer came directed in a writing unexpected, and I think the same was written with a thumbnail dipped in tar. Qua the shearing mate who wrote it, and verbatim I will quote it. Clancy's gone to Queensland driving, and we don't know where we are. In my wild erratic fancy, visions come to me of Clancy, gone a driving down the Cooper, where the western drivers go. At the stock are slowly stringing, Clancy rides behind them singing, for the driver's life has pleasure that the townsfolk never know. And the bush has friends to meet him, and their kindly voices greet him, in the murmur of the breezes and the river on its bars. And he see the vision splendid, of the sunlit plains extended, and at night the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars. I am sitting in my dingy little office, where a stingy ray of sunlight struggles feebly down between the houses tall, and the fitted air and gritty of the dusty, dirty city, through the open window floating, spreads its foulness over all. And in place of lowing cattle I can hear the fendish rattle, of the tramways and the buses making hurry down the street, and the language uninviting of the gutter children fighting comes fitfully and faintly through the ceaseless tramp of feet. And the hurrying people daunt me, and their pallid faces haunt me, as they shoulder one another in their rush and nervous haste, with their eager eyes and greedy, and their stunted forms and weedy, for townsfolk have no time to grow, they have no time to waste and I somehow rather fancy that I'd like to change with Clancy, like to take a turn at driving where the seasons come and go, while he faith the round eternal of the cash book and the journal, but I doubt it'd suit the office, Clancy of the Overflow.